Positive Train Control is a sophisticated system that uses the latest in digital wireless communication technology to transmit train-related information between locomotives and the Network Operation Center, or NOC, computer systems. PTC integrates and interlocks the train information with data from the Global Positioning System to create, in effect, a safety overlay for train operations. PTC takes in the movement-related information like authority limits, speed limits, and work zones through Wi-Fi, cellular, and radio frequency communication networks and displays it in a graphic interface inside the locomotive cab. Let's look at how it works. Just before a train leaves the terminal area, relevant back office information transmits securely over the digital wireless communication networks from the NOC to the cab of the locomotive. Information about the train consist, the track database, speed restrictions, movement authorities, and work zones loads into the onboard PTC computer. As the train moves out, the locomotive uses GPS in combination with a geographic track database to follow its location on the track. The computer integrates the information downloaded from the back office computer systems with its actual position on the track to ensure adherence with train movement information. At the same time, the PTC system pings wayside devices along the track through a cellular or radio communication network. As the train moves, the computer constantly calculates a warning and braking curve based on the train consist, its speed, change in elevation, and upcoming limits on speed, movement authorities, work zones, signals, and switch positions. The warning curve provides a margin of safety to warn the crew so they can slow or stop the train before it reaches the braking curve boundary. For example, just ahead of the train, a switch is in the incorrect position, and the PTC system recognizes it. As the train's warning curve reaches that misaligned switch, the train crew receives a warning on the onboard computer to stop. If the locomotive engineer does not respond and stop the train before reaching the limit of the braking curve, PTC will automatically use enforcement braking and stop the train with a full-service brake application. The graphic interface in the locomotive cab integrates all the information gathered from the office wayside, GPS, and the locomotive itself. Let's look at an example of what the crew sees on the PTC computer screen as their train approaches a red signal. Inside the locomotive cab, the engineer sees the display of the track ahead, represented by the green line. As the train approaches a red signal, the area beyond the train's authority is represented by a red box. When the locomotive reaches the warning curve distance of the red signal, the system displays a warning and an audible alert. If the locomotive engineer does not respond or does not stop soon enough, the system displays a braking message and applies the brakes. Work zones are another area where positive train control acts as a safety net. PTC provides an additional layer of protection for the roadway worker by mitigating or reducing potential human factor errors surrounding dynamic track conditions and authority limits in work zones. Through an interoperability agreement, all railroads have agreed to use the same software and hardware standards for consistency and reliability. The hardware includes three PTC processors and another processor for business operations. PTC will operate on a dedicated radio frequency across railroad systems. So when a foreign locomotive travels on another railroad's track, the PTC system will be fully functional. While the systems on the locomotives are important components of the safety system, PTC also touches all parts of the railroad and many different work streams. Installation of PTC includes upgrades to the signal system, installing wayside communication devices, and retrofitting existing locomotives with onboard computer systems and new radios.